Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you what is IVMS 4200's client. Now let's open this software. We will need to wait for a few seconds. Okay. Now let's input the username and the password. If you are the first time to use this software, you will need to set your new account. And log in. Please wait until it finished the initialization. Now we come to the main page. So today I'm going to introduce to you some main functions of this software. So let's come to the device management first. In this page, it concludes two parts. The online devices part is used to search online devices. Actually, its function is similar to SADP tour. And the part about is used to manage the devices that has already added to the client. So let's take an example. Let's add the NVR to the client. Click the NVR, add to client. Let's give the NVR a nickname. For example, hike NVR. And input the NVR's username and password. Please do remember you have choose export to group, then click add. Let's click the blank. Now we can see the net status appears green. So it means succeed. Now click the NVR. We can do some more detailed settings. For example, if you have input wrong password, just click modify and revise it. Remote configuration. Here we can do their system and the camera management. We can see there is already a camera. And if you want to add more cameras to the client, just choose Add. And this is the network parameter settings. And this is storage parameters settings. This is event settings for some special functions. For example, motion detection. And images settings. And I would like to mention the group. This is used to manage their video channels. So if there are a lot of video channels, you can manage them there in the group. Now let's go to the control panel. Actually, in this control panel, we will usually use the main view, remote playback, and alarm events. So let's open the main view first. In this page, it concludes two parts. The first part is to set the monitor into different screens. And the second part is to add the video channels to the screen. For example, you can click the screen and double click the video channel. Now you can see the live view. So if you want to see the playback, you will use this remote playback. Let's open it. First of all, let's choose the video channel. And set the time and the search. Now we can see the record is here, and this is the time access.
And if you have do the alarm settings for your cameras before and also notified the surveillance center, then you can click the alarm event. This is alarming and you can just click the play icon to see the record. So last but not least, I would like to mention that if you have further questions, you can also click help to see the user manual. Okay, that's all. Thank you.